What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Joey JCM. And man, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking of my last video about what the supplemental computing devices will be for the Nintendo NX. Go check it out. That's because this is, that's like part one to what I'm talking about here because I was thinking about that video and something else popped in my head. And what I want to talk about here is one of the things I said in the last video, one of the things I mentioned was that these upgraded mid console generation jump systems, these 1.5s, these PS4 Neo, Xbox One Scorpio, these are half generation bump ups. So PS4 Neo, Xbox One Scorpio. Xbox One Scorpio officially at E3 was announced to be six teraflops. PlayStation 4 Neo rumored to be four teraflops and they're saying they cut back on the announcement because Xbox said six teraflops and people are saying they potentially now want to maybe upgrade it a little bit more to either match them with six teraflops or be a little more closer to that number. Now it's rumored that the Nintendo NX is gonna be three teraflops. So right now what we're dealing with is six with the Xbox Scorpio, PS4 Neo at four teraflops, and NX rumored to be at three teraflops. Now what we have here is with the original Xbox One, it had 1.23 teraflops, okay? And the original PlayStation 4 has 1.84 teraflops. Now, they're considering this one this difference of 1.23 with the Xbox and 1.84. They're saying Sony's machine trumped it with significantly higher 1.84 teraflops. Now again, we're going from 1.2, let's just leave it simple, from 1.2 to 1.8. You're still in the one range, but they're saying 1.8 opposed to 1.2 is significantly higher. So even if Nintendo NX comes in at three teraflops, if they're saying a matter of a, a couple of points is a huge difference. So, if, so I can imagine what going from 1.8 to three teraflops would be. So if Nintendo does come in at three teraflops, this might be a sneaky, smart, genius move by them. Because like I said in my last video, it seems like as long as you're at like three teraflops, you'll be considered part of this next wave coming. So if a 0.6 jump was considered to be huge for PlayStation 4 over the Xbox One, you're going from 1.8 up to three. That's gonna be considered to be a huge jump. And like I said, as long as you're at least at three, I guess you'll be up there with these next systems. Now, how this ties into my last video about the supplemental computing devices. Nintendo is having a brand new system that could be made to incorporate these supplemental computing devices. Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were not made that way. So in order to get the upgrade to the PS4 and the Xbox One, you gotta buy like I said, you're looking at maybe like, you know, like 500 with tax, you know, four to 500. Now with all of Nintendo's talk about being industry leading with these industry leading chips, they have to know that three teraflops has to be at least the amount they need to do 4K gaming. But the point to all this is, <laughs> it's fucking Nintendo, man. They, they, like PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are not set up to add supplemental computing devices onto them. The NX, on the other hand, will be a brand new concept, a brand new machine that will be made to be set up for this. So now Nintendo is selling you something at three teraflops, which might seem less than the other guys, but they'll be able to come out at a base teraflop level that will be needed for now. Maybe down the road, you know how it goes with consoles. Down the road, they get more power out of the system. They find out how to use it more. They do more things with it. But right now, if, like I said, if they're considering 1.2 to 1.8, Xbox One versus PS4, just a, a matter of 0.6 to be a huge difference in the PS4, going from 1.8 to three teraflops is gonna be gigantic. So three teraflops is gonna be the base you need for now. And like I said, down the road maybe, developers will figure out a way how to use the other teraflops in there, right? But when that time comes, when that time comes, that's when the supplemental computing devices will hit. Because Nintendo is gonna be selling you a three model, but that's all developers will need right now. 
end for the time being. But when that time comes, when it's time to upgrade and people start to demand more teraflops out of that Nintendo system, Nintendo will be like, you know what? No problem. And guess what? We're not going to charge you an extra $500 to do this. Just add on a supplemental computing device to your NX. Like I said in the last video, maybe $50, maybe $100 to upgrade. And guess what? You add one of these on, you're going to jump up to five teraflops. You want to add two on there, you could jump up. The other guys are boasting six teraflops. You add two of these things on there, we'll give you fucking eight teraflops. This is a genius move by Nintendo. So like I said, they'll be able to come out of the gate cheaper and with the technology that these other guys have. But... When developers do reach that point, when they want to get to four teraflops, five teraflops, six teraflops, Nintendo will be like, no problem, we got an answer for you, and it won't even cost you that much. But again, you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to. These systems will use scaling. Nintendo coming out of the gate with more than enough power at a cheaper price, don't be fooled by the lower ter teraflops because it will be more than enough for now. But when the time comes and developers do reach that point, Nintendo will have an answer for them. And maybe even Nintendo will be able to say, you know what? Now the time has come where you're able to add two of these things onto yours and you have eight teraflops with us, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Go check out the first video. Let me know if you agree with me what I think about what the supplemental computer devices are going to be. And let me know in this video if you agree that Nintendo is doing a genius move here and they have the advantage that their unit, their system will be able to be made now to upgrade unlike the other guys where their original systems aren't made that way. So if you do want to upgrade, if you do want that 4K, you got to shell out a whole other chunk of change, $500. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joey JCM. Oh my God, I can't wait for this NX, man. Woo! It's fucking, it's getting more and more exciting as the day goes on. Let's go, Nintendo. Give us something. I will see you. Later. <laughs>